After more than two years of relentless assaults, Russian forces have achieved a significant victory in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region by securing full control of the coal mining town of Vuladar. The town, once regarded as one of Ukraine's most fortified strongholds, now lies in Russian hands, signaling a critical shift in the battle for control over southern Donetsk and beyond. Vuladar, meaning gift of coal, was home to nearly 14,000 people before the war. Now, its once vibrant streets are hollowed shells of what they once were, devastated by waves of artillery and airstrikes that have transformed it into a wasteland of charred high-rise buildings and shattered glass. Built by the Soviet Union in the 1960s, Vuladar was both a coal hub and a strategic military asset due to its elevated terrain, which provided a crucial vantage point for Ukrainian forces to launch strikes on Russian supply lines. But that advantage has been lost. Russian forces, emboldened by their recent successes, pressed forward in a meticulously planned offensive. The Ukrainian defenders, once in full control of the town, found themselves trapped in what the Russian military has hailed as a mini cauldron. With escape routes cut off, Ukrainian forces faced the full brunt of Moscow's firepower as Russian bombardments rained down, sealing their fate. Aerial glide bombs, along with artillery barrages, hammered the last vestiges of resistance. For months, Vuladar had been a symbol of Ukraine's defiance. Positioned at a crossroads between the eastern and southern fronts, its strategic location offered Kyiv's forces the ability to disrupt Russian operations, particularly along the railway that links Crimea to the Donbas region. The town's defenders fought valiantly from the ruins of once imposing high-rise apartments, using their elevated positions to rain fire down on Russian convoys. But Moscow had learned from its mistakes. Earlier offensives, which had cost Russian forces dearly, were rethought and recalibrated. Each failed attempt only strengthened the resolve to capture Vuladar. The stakes were high. Vuladar was not just a town. It was a gateway. Its fall opens the door for Russian advances deeper into southern Donetsk, putting the Russian military in a stronger position to consolidate control over the Donbass region. As images of Russian soldiers waving their tricolor flag on the town's administrative building circulated online, the reality of Vuladar's destruction became evident. The building itself stood as a ghostly reminder of the price paid for its capture, its walls blackened, windows shattered, and much of the structure reduced to rubble. The battle had scarred the town beyond recognition. Reports from the scene tell of a town devastated beyond repair. Maxim Vobovsky, Vuladar's deputy mayor, had spoken last year of the dire state of the town, noting that every building had been damaged and the infrastructure utterly destroyed. Today, fewer than 500 civilians remain in the ruins, many of them elderly or too infirm to flee, while others cling to a haunting existence amid the devastation. Yet for Moscow, the capture of Vuladar is a momentous triumph, underscoring the resilience and determination of Russian forces. After four previous attempts to seize the town, the successful encirclement of Ukrainian troops has solidified Russia's strategic grip on the region. The Mini Cauldron strategy, honed through months of grinding combat, has proven effective, leaving the Ukrainian forces no choice but to endure the withering bombardment or face inevitable capture. The victory also marks another chapter in Russia's broader war effort to reclaim what Moscow sees as its rightful territories. Donetsk, one of the four Ukrainian regions annexed by Russia since 2022, 
now edges closer to being fully integrated into the Russian Federation, a move Kyiv continues to reject as illegal under international law. Still, the symbolic and strategic importance of Vuladar to both sides cannot be overstated. For the Ukrainian defenders, this defeat comes at a heavy cost. The 72nd Separate Mechanized Brigade, tasked with holding Vuladar, had repelled numerous Russian offensives, but the price of those victories, steep losses on both sides, was unsustainable. As Russia tightened its grip on the town, Ukraine found itself isolated and overwhelmed. In the aftermath, the Kremlin portrays Vuladar's fall as a pivotal moment in its broader campaign, one that could serve as a springboard for future advances. With the town under Russian control, the path is now clearer for further offensives that could reshape the entire front in southern Donetsk, possibly setting the stage for future operations toward key Ukrainian cities. As the dust settles over Vuladar, a coal mining town now forever scarred by war, the Russian flag flutters defiantly in the wind, a signal to the world that Russia, undeterred by setbacks, continues its relentless march forward in Ukraine's east. <laughs>